This is everything you need to know about the new Forza Motorsport update. Let's go. As this is the first update, the main focus has been bug fixes. This is common on all platforms and includes fixes such as stability and crashing, along with incorrect safety and skill ratings in multiplayer, along with some glitch and exploit patches. There have also been multiple graphic patches on both the tracks and on the cars, mainly consisting of flags and barriers not being displayed properly, as well as liveries on the cars and interiors of the cars either glitching out or not looking quite right. Most of these points I personally haven't run into, but it is nice knowing they are bringing out patches really fast. The main patch in this update I wanted to talk to you guys about is the changes to the upgrade system. So they have not changed the way you level up your cars, nor have they changed the max level of the cars. It's the level that you unlock modifications and upgrade for your cars. Let me show you exactly what I mean right now. This is my BMW M4 Competition. It's only car level 12, but as you can see, I've unlocked most of the upgrades to make it a competitive race car already. It's only taken me maybe 3 or 4 races, and I've already unlocked most things. So you can see here in the fuel and air tab, I've unlocked everything. And when we go over to the engine tab, you can see at the bottom here, pistons and compression. You only need to get your car to level 15 to unlock this. Now before, I think it was level 25, maybe even 30. And it's the same story if we go all the way to the end to the swaps so the engine swap and the drivetrain swap this was level 45 if not level 50 before i can't really remember but they've decreased the level needed to unlock this modification significantly what they haven't done however is the car points they haven't made an adjustment to the car points at all so even though we've got these modifications readily available to us we can't actually buy them so if i go on exhaust let me just show you an example here i'll go on to exhaust i'll put an exhaust on i'll put an air filter on and I'll put the fuel system race upgrades on. Change the ignition. That leaves me with 1200 available. So now I want a little bit of handling. So I go to the brakes, chuck the good brakes on. And I want some good tyres. I can't. I can't afford good tyres. Because I haven't got enough car points. So even though they have adjusted the level needed to unlock these modifications they've made no adjustment to the car points it is a step in the right direction i'm not trying to bash the guys at microsoft and turn 10 they've listened to us and they've made the required adjustments to keep us happy but they need to go that little little step further that one step further and they do need to make some sort of adjustment to the car points i'll give you another another example here so this is my BMW 323Ti Sport E36 and it's level 28 so I've unlocked all of the upgrades all the upgrades available for this car now this isn't a this isn't a proper build I'm just using this as a bit of an example so uh, yeah let's get on with it so I want a new engine so I'm going to chuck a new engine in these cost 3000 car points uh, I'm not sure what the 2 litre inline 4 is maybe an SR um, SR20 or any sort of 2 litre inline 4 turbo would be pretty cool in this car so I'm going to go with that so that's 3000 points now let's say I want to make it all wheel drive it's not a proper build like I say um, but just for an example I've got an engine swap and I've got a drivetrain swap now I'm left with 350 car points what am I going to do with that I can't afford to put anything else on this car so like I say, it's the right direction, but they need to make some further adjustments. Obviously, you can just go and race a few more races and you get the required car points for what you need, but that, that's not the point. The point is they've tried to make an adjustment and it hasn't really worked. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I know I'm probably being a little bit harsh. Like I say, they have listened to us, so that is, that is always good. But yeah, just a little bit further. So all in all, to unlock every upgrade for your car, it's going to take about half the time that it did before the update. That's bringing the game time down to about two hours per car. But there is, in my opinion, still work to do on the amount of car points that are earned. As always, there is a link in the description for all patch notes. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like the new change? Is it enough? Or did you like it the old way? Please leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.